this round we've got we've got uh, Crane Hatamoto from Philadelphia. Ronnie Zudu, also known as uh, Zudutron on the Discord League. And across from is Anish, who has we've actually seen grow quite a bit as a Phoenix player throughout the course of this stronghold season. He's he's uh, he's been placing uh, very respectably in the last few events that he's he's attended. I think within the top three or top uh, top five of all uh, attending players. <clears throat> I, I think these guys may have met up uh, at the last tournament as well. Um, I feel like they played each other on camera last. Yeah, last I, I event can't too. remember who took that match, but. Uh -huh. um, oh. Whoa! What? That's lots of cards. <laughs> uh, somebody might not have shuffled their deck after the last. Uh, game. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see his mulligan, so I don't know how many of those were new. Probably, I'm guessing two of them. That's that's pretty funny. Who's? I wonder who's the first player. I can't see where the. Uh, it's the, the oh, that there. okay. That thing looks like a ring. Yeah. So Ronnie's first. Man, just play your best guy and pass. Just just play Brass Samurai and pass. Yeah. Brass Samurai one fate pass. Or I. Mm. When you have an option to build a little bit of a board if you want yeah. to. And uh, put some pressure on. Two put two fate two fate. Eh. <clears throat> now Ronnie's playing Crane Scorpion this time. Last week, uh, last time he was playing Dragon, and I think that was specifically to counter uh, Zach's Zach's Scorpion deck. Oh come on, Anish, get your timing right. You gotta take those cards now. Oh there you go. He, he remembered. Yeah, he remembered. He first remembered. Style. He caught it. All right. And, uh, yeah. He's like, I'm drawing three cards with libraries. I'm not going to bid. just going to bid one. I Actually, I wonder, Travis, with this flop, do you just you just pressure the honor right away? Just go for straight dishonor as soon as possible? Uh, maybe. I mean, Anish does like playing towards dishonor. Uh, <laughs> so it's entirely possible. So, I mean, I'm looking at uh, Anisha's deck right now, and it, it definitely seems like he's much more of a um, tower multiple attack deck, yeah. right? He's got he's got two Gaijin Customs as his Unicorn Splash, what? two Talisman. Big question for this round is, did uh, did Ronnie draw an assassination? No, he did not. Yeah, oh no, he does have some in his deck. Um, that would be what I'm curious about, because that could really... Throw a monkey wrench in. No, he doesn't have. Looks doesn't look like he has one. It's a shameful display. Uh, he's going to defend, so he just trigger. So that'll be. Uh, is that a political conflict? It is a political conflict. There is. Oh, an assassin. All right. Well, you were thinking uh, Nish would... Sorry, you thought Ronnie had the assassination. Well, right? I thought if he had an assassination, it would make it hard for Anish to put that kind of pressure. Yeah. I'm going to play a court game to get rid of that uh, that honor on uh, Anish's adept. So, on, on the face of it, that seems like a bit of a spew. Like, what's the point in doing that? But I think Ronnie wants to... Uh, I don't know if he has any Voice of Honors in his hand, but I think he wants to make those cards relevant as soon as possible. Well, I think it's also he's thinking that, okay. Is he done defending? Why would the, I wouldn't know enough I would bother here. So plays the Uchi Wayfinder, <coughs> reveals a shameful display. Mm -hmm. And this does take away, I think uh, Ronnie was doing uh, that play so he could bring in the political rival and get the break. Right. It's a little bit more involved now. You'd have to commit a little bit more. But I don't know if I'd play the Wayfinder until that He played that, that into the conflict? Yeah. That's really weird. I mean, to uh, be fair, yeah. he would have eventually anyways, because Ronnie would have played the political rival to try to break. Uh, I see. And then he, in a response, he would have played the Wayfinder. So 
it would have happened anyways. Mm -hmm. Just odd that he did it unprompted. I guess maybe he wanted to. Maybe he wanted a, an easy. Thought it was an easy uh, win of a ring. Right. <clears throat> so. Anish wisely going for a military here. Because, like you said, he he suspects the political rival, right? It's a. Uh, yeah. It's the manicured garden. Uh, I can't. I don't know if he took his Ooh, money for the trigger or for the. No, he. Uh, I think he just said first action, take my fate. So he forgot the, his uh, secret trigger. Sh Shrine made. <laughs> I hate that card now. I know. I. I, I just. Oh. I've been playing against a bunch of local players with Phoenix decks. A lot of them very similar to what Anish played. Uh, Shrine Maiden spell heavy decks. And when you're trying to choke uh, a Phoenix opponent from cards yep. with Dishonor, Shrine Maiden is, just makes that so hard. I mean, Shrine Maiden plus Kuden Nasawa's ability. So no boost. Doesn't quite get into break territory, but does steal an honor. Technically, Anish shouldn't be doing that with his discard pile, but I don't think there's anything in uh, in Ronnie's yeah. deck that uh, that cares about the top of the discard pile. Brings in Stuart Law with a lot of <laughs> a lot of fate on him. Oh, it's like. I'm curious here because I know that Anish has the display of power. He has two, but he, Ronnie saw him draw one, but he doesn't have the fate to play it. Yeah, fire makes uh, a lot of sense. Turn on your voice of honor. Ronnie does have Way of the Crane, but I don't think it's the kind of card you want to waste on a Steward of Law. No. <clears throat> All right, going Earth instead. It's an Earth uh, military, looks like. No defenders, no action. No. The I wonder, see a bonsai uh, there's here. a bonsai. Yeah. Not uh, gonna pump it. I don't think he kicked it. Right? No. No. Eh, minorly risky, but assassination's already been played. Oh, nice. Talisman of the Sun. That's a good play. So he could go to uh, Public Forum. He could go to Before the Throne, actually. Yeah, you sent him somewhere that he's not going to break. But Before the Throne would be hilarious. I mean, Ronnie almost doesn't want to break that. Oh, meditation's pretty strong too, I think. I mean, at this point, you're thinking it's unlikely that he's going to get up to strength for before the, th before the throne, so you might as well get yep. something out of. Oh, Ooh. one of the displays gone. That's a really good. Uh, that's really good for Ronnie because Anish could have saved that for when Ronnie attacked the air ring the following turn. Right. So all in all, despite Anish uh, getting three forbidden library or forgotten libraries yeah. on turn one, he did really well for himself, I think. So let's see how many of these libraries he ends up keeping. Man, geez, he's up. I don't Is know how tempted I would be to keep all. I, of them. I don't think I, you don't think you can. You might not get a character. Now, okay, I would discard one. I think uh, I would yeah. discard one. But man, like you, you have your opponent on five honor already. You just can keep bidding one and drawing three cards a turn. He it's keeps all evil. three. Oh, and a okay, He got so, like, really lucky. That is, yeah, he got super lucky. lucky there. 
Wow. Wow, that is that that could have gone really bad for it. It could have got really bad. Ronnie does have uh, a lot of money to spend here, so. So Ronnie's got to find a way to. Uh, might have to start pressuring air ring a lot harder this time. Getting that display of power out of Anisha's hand was huge too. I mean, I, th I, I think Anish has another one still. I think he had one in his opening hand. Oh, did he? And okay. He drew one with the try midden. Or either had one in his opening hand or had one in his first draw. I'm really, I'm really excited to see what, uh, with with the release of this first pack, if uh, Phoenix Dishonor become becomes a lot more stronger as a strategy. I think Ronnie needs to just go wide here. Yeah, he's got lots of time. Decides to leave the challenger for later. Anish is almost definitely going to be bidding one here. Yep. One from both of them. Man, turn two already people are bidding. Both players are bidding one. Another against the waves. Two clarity of purposes in, purpose. in Anisha's hand. Clarity of purpose is, is really nice yeah. here. It, let, it lets you uh, skip having to start with water. So Prodigy Waves has covert through Adept of the Waves. Both no, Adept and Prodigy are working first. together. Yeah, maybe. Y you can use water to bow Steward of Law, uh, Covert. You can Covert. Uh, actually, I don't know if water is that good. Well, it's fine, because you can Clarity of Purpose still, and then yeah. defend and use your other bow to attack again. I guess so. I just feel like water is uh, it's pretty, pretty low. I know. I, w I would probably go for... Maybe even air, if I mean, for nothing else, just to deny Ronnie from going for it. The other thing about water is water does have a fate on it, so. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a military water challenge right. from a niche. Going to that manicured gardens, presumably. It's like a covert on. I mean, if you're if you're gonna do a water attack on this board, the only thing that makes sense to covert is a steward of law, because that's the only thing you can actually affect. Unless unless Anish has a Benton's touch in well, his hand I mean, as well. You, you may you also if the Brash Samurai defends alone, you you're losing the conflict. So you want you might want to leave him out, which is that looks what he's looks like what he's doing to make sure that he's gonna have to commit a little bit more if he wants to defend. In, in that case, I would have gone for a different ring, but. If it, this then makes sense, if uh, if Anish has a Benton's touch in his Benton's hand, Benton's touch would be nice. He'll he'll use the again uh, the adept of the ways to honor the prodigy, and then he can stand it again if he wins the uh, water ring. And the balanced stat of the prodigy of the waves means he's not even susceptible to that uh, political debate in. Uh, Oh, right hand. forgot he had the honor, uh, the favor there. So begins the way of the crane. So it looks like four to four. Four to four. Start with. But that turns on Voice of Honor. I didn't see if... I don't. I didn't think Ronnie had one in his hand before, so... Yeah. Uh, still does not. Fate worse than death. Wow. I guess he... <laughs> Maybe he was worried Anish might have censure for that card, so he wanted to honor Narishima first, so he could potentially yeah, he, voice of honor. Board, I don't think he has one in his hand, though. No? Well, you don't know that from Ronnie's side, right? So you're just trying to uh, to make sure you're... you're oh, no, I, I, mean, I don't think through. Ronnie has a voice of honor to I see. cancel the censure. 
Oh, no, he does. I lied. He does? Uh, he does. Yeah. Okay. So a bit of break for Ronnie there, because now Anish can't stand the Prajita waves. This game might have, end up going a little bit longer than uh, Anish first assumed. So now the question is, what's the attack? Anish does have against the waves in his discard pile, so while Prodigy can't use his ability to stand because of Fate Worse than Death, he can, he can use the Kyuta Nisawa to stand the Prodigy in the middle of a combat. We'll see if it, Anish takes that line, though. What's that? Uh, just just uh, ruminating on how Anish can use Kyuta Nisawa to stand Prodigy of the Waves in the middle of a conflict with the Fair. against the waves in this discard pile. It dishonored Prodigy of the Waves, though, is a lot less compelling a piece. If, if you had some way to get him into, into a conflict that was at shameful display, I could certainly see the advantage of that. The military fire with a steward. Yep, fire poke. I th I think that was that a defense. I don't think he was defending with that. Yeah, no defense. Display of power, voice of honor. Chooses to honor the Doji Whisperer. Or no. Yeah. Kerberos, thank you for the compliment. Saying he loves the L5R coverage. We, we definitely want to try to get some more premier uh, L5R events. Not just Stronghold Conflicts. Uh, but if if and when the, the Elemental Championships become right. a reality who knows what's what's going on with that right now but yeah we definitely want to we, we want to start covering a lot more uh premier stuff we're, we're lucky enough to have a lot of high caliber players in toronto uh people who are active participants in the discord league who do very well season to season uh we saw we saw two of those players last round in the form of zach and and shane and we've got ronnie on stream this time So political void looks like. Uh, so that's three to four, I think. Yeah. So four shame coming down. Uh, gonna take the bow, which is NBD for Anish because he has the against the waves. Chooses not to do it though. Let's it pass. Maybe he forgot he had it. Or maybe he's fa saving that well, faith for still, something he, else. Yeah. He's still losing that conflict, so... What's that? He was still losing the conflict, so standing in again may not matter. Uh, oh, yeah. Hmm. So with that stand... I think Ronnie was going to attack, but now he just decides he's going to pass his second conflict. That means the favor goes over to Ronnie. So after a pretty strong opening turn, that Anish did not make a lot of progress there. And uh, Anish is also well behind in the uh, economy game here. <clears throat> or not as far behind, I guess. So the favor turns off the censure in Ronnie's hand, so... Even though I think he doesn't have a voice yeah. of honor at the there, there was some confusion at the table. 
and he yeah. should be at seven fate because he did spend his last remaining fate to against the waves. That's right. The previous turn, which caused Ronnie to not attack. <laughs> so, th this is the problem with keeping. This is what happens. Yes. The, the the other side of the coin when you decide to keep three forgotten libraries in uh in your dynasty row. Yeah, I think I think Anish should have given up at least one of them. Because now, now Ronnie, he's just gonna keep, uh, he's just gonna keep building that advantage. Yeah. And now that he has Kakita Asami, he's playing Kakita Asami. That's gonna, he's gonna use that to uh, mitigate the honor pressure Anish has been building towards. Anish kind of went all in super early, without uh, building any of his own board. Yeah. And so he's kind of being punished for that now. I mean, it, it was a good plan, and he got lucky with that second turn with the Prodigy Wave slot, but Ronnie uh, got rid of that advantage right away with the Mountain Dust, or sorry, the Fate Worse and Death play. So Besides to go with the Challenger as well, it makes a lot of sense with so few characters on Anisha's side. Anisha's straight up passes. Nothing too compelling for on Anisha's draw. One and one. Ornate fan and a supernatural storm. Super, supernatural storm could come in here. This is an opportunity to boost two twice. See, the the thing is, like, the cards in Anisha's deck, like this type of Phoenix deck, they're very good as long as you have a bunch of characters out. So the, it's the cards in Anisha's hand that aren't the problem. He, he could get rid of two libraries and keep bidding one and still do fine because he has his stronghold yeah and and uh, all his buffs but he needs to start drawing more characters after after that that flop with the keeper initiate I think he needs to get rid of two libraries oh absolutely uh, at the end of this well turn. after now, that flop I don't think I he, think he'll be able to keep yeah <laughs> I think the decision will be made for him yes. in terms of how many libraries he has left. The other thing, Ronnie's been able to, to play without having to spend too many of his cards. So even though he's drawn one for the last couple turns, he's not really feeling the hurt that badly. He's Ronnie's talking to himself, just trying to figure out what the two face down provinces are. So he's guessing public forum and before the throne, perhaps. Yeah. All right, so political earth, uh, what, seven strength? Um, no defenders, it looks like yeah, Ryan's right. going to call someone in. Yeah. He uses the Doji Challenger's ability to pull the adaptive waves into the conflict. Means he's no longer breaking. Seven? No, no. He pulled the adept. Yeah. So, I believe uh, Anish has the favor right now at political. No, no. No. Ronnie has it at military. Sorry, you're wrong. Sorry. Yes, but he's going to clarity of purpose. Um, province isn't breaking right now. Because uh, well, before that's what Ronnie wants. Yeah. I I don't know. I, I wouldn't be that worried about losing two honor right now. Maybe, not sure. He he went for the Earth Ring too. Plays so the Wayfinder. Don't you looked at that card already, didn't you? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, oh no! Anish. Bad times. Oh, there he realized. Yeah, <laughs> I saw the I saw the face palm there. Uh, yeah, that's. I don't know. In a casual event, would you just be like, okay, just look at another one. It's fine. Uh, maybe. So it gets the win in the province. Not a break. Clarity of purpose means the adept of the waves can, can come back here.
Yeah, we, we got some options here with the covert. Is he going with all three? It looks like it, I think. So military, or, or political. Yeah, political five so, strength, it looks yeah. like. Using the covert uh, on Narishma. Uh, Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, Daroji Narishma. Oh, I did pronounce it right. That's well done. kind of a fluke. <laughs> well, I, just, I couldn't even remember what the how it was spelled. So Court Games chooses to remove the dishonor on his own prodigy. So seven to three. Now, of course, uh, we still got the uh, province. I might have um, used used the stronghold to bow the prodigy before anything happened. For sure, yeah. <coughs> Local rival, okay. Anisha's not winning this. Up to nine strength on Ronnie's side. So Supernatural Storm's uh, even more powerful now. It's giving him plus three, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Chooses to put it on the Prodigy of the Waves. He's gonna bow the wayfinder. Yep. He does it still still gonna win the still winning here nine nine. Uh, Travis, I think one of the reasons why Ronnie may have been reluctant to use the Shizuka Toshi to bow the Prodigy waves as his first action was that he knows that uh, against the waves is in. That's fair. That's Anisha's a good point. Discard pile. Policy debate. Wow. <clears throat> So th this is one of the so Crane Scorpion was one of the yeah, Crane Scorpion was one of the uh, clans that was the least hit by the latest restricted list. Right. So I, I think some of the, some Crane decks had a charge or two in there. Yeah, but, but losing them wasn't a big deal. But Crane Scorpion specifically, I think they were always running policy debate, and yeah. and nothing else got put on the restricted list. So didn't really affect them all that much. Well, Consequently. Char charge like some people had a charge or two in their deck. Maybe, yeah. I, I guess so, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how much value charge would have had in a crane deck. I mean, charge is always good because it's a free body for well, not free. It's body for one, yeah, one fate. But so we do see the calling in favors used to pull a talisman off of the adept. So that does shift it to uh, ten eight. Eight, yes. Now we still so can't buy back the supernatural storm, right? Yeah. Eleven now, yeah. So if, if Anish wins this, he gets to bow Narishma, and then he gets to stand the prodigy and then do a military attack. Well, the adept thing. also got a clarity of purpose, so the adept's not yes. gonna bow either. Right. Oh, shameful display. That's yes. pretty. Pretty strong. The prodigy was not meant to have any power. No. So that that was a shameful display trigger, right? It was. Yeah. So remove the dishonor from the political rival and put one on the prodigy of the waves. Well, I think uh, Anish may be out of tricks at this point. Nish is saying to himself, do I want to win this? So I, I guess he has one more way to buff uh, buff his guy. Maybe, maybe there's another supernatural storm he has. Uh, that's, that didn't seem like a very high value against the waves. I don't know. Like, I get you have a lot of, a lot of, of right. copies of that card, but... I, I think he's really trying to get that keeper out of his, uh, his row as well. well I don't know. 
there's a lot of things it does, right? It lets yeah. you, it prevents Ronnie from being able to declare a conflict. Yeah. Uh, it means your Prodigy of the Wave is going to be online for, like, it, it's going to allow you probably to break the province and not have to worry about defending. Still, if I'm Robbie, Ronnie, I'm really happy that my opponent just spent a bunch of cards like he did. Absolutely. Anish really needed that to be a win there and needed yeah. to have the ring. I was thinking about making an attack with Narishna. Looks like an air ring, potentially. I can't remember which of these provinces have been triggered on Anisha's side already. Uh, I feel like the Shameful Display has. There's a Shameful Display that went to the... Um, was redirected to Before the Throne. That's the meditation. No downside. So, so five strength. Only defending with the prodigy. Uh, may not have realized that the, uh, the, the favor was there. Yeah, I wonder why he did that. Oh, he defended with the Adept, right? Oh, is he defending with the Adept? Okay, Yeah, sorry. see, Anish does this thing where he puts the character he's okay. defending right on top of the province. Yeah. It's just, whenever it's in the back row, I always think I know. it's out of Because it's the opposite. It's like those people who play Magic who put their lands in front of their creatures. <laughs> I don't even know what to call those people. <laughs> Nothing kind. We call those people vintage players. Okay, military air on a niche. See if Anish has a way to. Oh, bonsai center, snap center on Ronnie's side. All right. Yeah. Is that the, uh, but he does. Last card? He, what's that? Is that Anish's last card? Oh, maybe. Looks like, looks like it. Wow. All right. R Ronnie's pumping his fist despite him being at three honor, but he, look look how many honor characters he have that yeah. are going away this turn. I don't think he cares. No. Yeah, three honor back. So he's at what? How many honor now? Six. You got it. You got it. Yeah, and I think uh, did Anish lose an honor? He's at thirteen now. No, I know, but I don't know if he lost an honor for this dishonored character. I mean, it's not the... So he was at... Uh, he was at 12, I then he went to 13. Then I think he should have gone to 12, but I think yeah. he forgot to lose his last honor. Yeah. So I guess he's on 13 honor then. I mean, I see 13 honor on Anisha's table. Oh, you do. Yeah, right. Never mind. Yep. Sorry. Yep. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He had to do two at that point. He had no carry. He has no board. I, I feel, I feel like one. I feel like this is almost karmic justice for Anthony. I, I, w I will say, I will say, like, he, he was actually looking good at the start of turn two. That was fine, but he needed to get rid of at least yeah. one, probably and, two. And I, and I think it was a, it's cascading now. The, 
the problem is cascading now with. Uh, well, because even if those were both characters, like it yeah. could still be so many things. It could be a keeper. It could even be a character that's not really going to work out for him this turn. Yep. So you have money to spend. You need to open up your board. I mean, <clears throat> you know how honored Ronnie's going to be. Yeah. That, that oh my god. That pressure probably not going to work. Doji Hitaru too. See, Anish is out. Has no cards. He's well. You got to draw two, Anish. Yeah, there you go. I mean, he's got it. Anish got bid high now. He can't. Yeah. He can't uh, be bidding one anymore. Him, but just, just bid five, Anish. That's it. Just got to bid five, bro. Yep. Yeah, went for five. Nish is looking for. I, I don't. What do, what kind of conflict characters does he have? He has shrine maidens, and uh, just the, wayfinders and shrine maidens. Yeah, and yeah, that's not. There's gonna, two of each that have already been played, so I think he has one shrine maiden left. Yeah, he, he drew a whole lot of nothing. Can you use lighthouse on yourself? No, you can only use it on an opponent. So this is his uh, his uh, magnificent lighthouse trigger here. Yeah. Oh, that, that, uh, ancient or magnificent lighthouse is. I feel like it's a card that might be relevant two or three sets from now. When some kind of significant mill strategy that's part of a bigger dishonor strategy becomes a thing, but yeah, All right. yeah so Ronnie has no know. real money. So I was just looking at the Camion leash in his hand, and like he can get a lot of ring triggers of his choice. Who? Sorry, who's Camion? <coughs> Ronnie's. So it just would have been another ring trigger if he wanted it, but <laughs> he's like, why would you do void? Come on. He wants to fade real bad. Uh, is he is he seriously considering a void ring just for the money? Yes. <laughs> you know what's funny? He could even just start he could even start pressuring Anish with dishonor. Here. Not really. Like, he's, he's still got eleven. He's got Do he's got Doji Hitaru, two undefended. Sure, Man, yeah, just, down to just double Earth. I think double Earth is just better. Yeah, Ronnie's counting his uh, conflict characters, I think. Or maybe not. <laughs> so, uh, I got the table audio. R Ronnie's, tr Ronnie's trying to figure out what the odds are that uh, Anish has another display of power in his hand. Um, they're not zero. Yeah. I'm actually surprised I just didn't... Oh, man. That's hilarious. That's like the worst province you want to see. Well, it's like you know the, you got to know this a public forum. I would have gone for Shameful if my opponent doesn't have anything. Yeah. I, maybe he was just worried he had a conflict character. I don't know. So anyway, here's... Yeah. He double He double rings. Uh, six political strength meant that he did get to, uh, quote, break the public forum. So, was that two centers? Wow. <laughs> Anish doesn't care. Yeah, I mean, if there was any anything he wanted to discard, it was definitely that. Oof. Just go after. I would just go after the public forum again. I think. Just want the money. Just wow, just for the money. Yeah. So military got five strength, six strength with the. So yeah, that's another honor lost by Anish. So he's at nine now. I guess. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure how he got to nine. Anyway. Oh, no, I know how he got to nine. What? Just two undefended? He was at 13. But then he bid five to three, so he lost two. Right, 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 right. What do you, 
Anish, what are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I would. I would just. I would just discard all of them now. So much money. What? What do you think he's gonna flip this time? Two more keepers. Doesn't matter. He can. He can flip two great characters, and yeah, it's gonna be wasted. I guess we forgot to update first player last turn. No, no, you were you were right. Ronnie is now the first player. No, I just switched it to Anish. See, like, yeah. Anyways, that, you said enough. Uh, that's that's not too bad, but none of those are Shugenjas either. No. I mean, I don't know how relevant that is, but you can't play Embrace the Void unless you have a Shugenja, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is what Ronnie's going to do. He's going to attack with a challenger, just harpoon someone in. He's going to attack Meditations. Well, yeah, he's going to military attack. Military Meditations. Harpoon and the Mediator. Yeah. Yeah, see, th this time... Now, now Anish is back to bidding at one. I mean, he doesn't need more cards, so... Uh, so no no knock on Anish, like, but he's been very inconsistent this game. I think, I think he's been waffling between pressuring Honor and then going back and then pressuring... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe you do want to make uh, assassinations unattractive, given what the characters you're able to play. I guess so, but I mean, Ronnie doesn't have anything worth it. Doesn't have anything to assassinate, or to be assassinated. No, I mean, so Ronnie could play assassination into a niche. I see. And now he's like, well, I don't know if I want to go down to three honor. Anyways, maybe reaching a little bit. So he's going to declare uh, military air, the meditations of the Tao. No defenders on an each side. Yeah, I don't imagine. As expected. So he's going to harpoon. He might just wait to see what Anish does with the buff, and then he's just going to play Admit Defeat. Which is probably what I would do. Because right now, right now he's breaking still. Yeah. Yeah, I see that Bonsai in Anish's hand. Ronnie probably realizes this too. He's like, I'll, I will let you Bonsai. Ooh. They, well, no, they can't do this, but I'll, I'll resolve oh, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ronnie caught it for us. So, f so for those who are not aware, um, <clears throat> Anish actually controls both copies of. So, the, no, no. It, yeah, the, the unique, talisman unique counts for control ownership. and own. Yeah, both. So Anish owns that talisman that's yeah. actually on Ronnie's side. He just calling in favors it to gain control of it. Yeah. But that means that Anish can't play another copy of Talisman of the Sun. Now, Ronnie couldn't either. Ronnie couldn't either because he, he, controls. he controls a copy. So it, it just it does yeah. control and ownership both matter when yep. it comes to unique cards. Which is a bit interesting, but... So we'll see if Anish actually ends up bonsaiing. Uh, well, okay. Oh, okay, nice. Nice. I mean, he figures he's going to lose an honor from it anyways by the end of the round. Yep. Oh, what did I do? I, uh, I did oh, the wrong thing. Strength? Yeah, there we go. No, no, I got it right. 
<laughs> I don't think. Uh, oh. Yeah. Anish was going to play Clarity of Purpose, but then he realized it was a military conflict. Whoops. So Anish is. Oh, Cammy unleashed. He's probably going to. Sarani's probably going to play it right now. Yeah. In some sense, you might as well. You can take uh, honor pressure off the table for a while. Mm hmm. Like, just take two running. Oh. No, you're at 11. And he's having difficulty with the math, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, what are you talking about? He was just asking how many honor yeah. he had. Finally discarding that at library. I think I think the they want they want the TO to issue an official ruling on the talisman. Yeah. Okay. Now we know in the booth that we we know in the booth that the talisman is owned by Niche, so you can't play multiple unique copies. So we're just gonna have Travis go over there and explain it to Anish what the ruling is. So with that being said, it looks like Anish is uh, not going to be able to play it. With no standing characters uh, on Anish's side, that means Ronnie is going to be able to do a political challenge here. You saw what he asked? And, and it, oh, maybe, oh, fire this time. Fire is good because you're probably going to now honor both uh, Doji Hitaru and Kakita Asami. You're going to steal another honor because of Kakita Asami's ability. Why didn't you just go to Shameful? Well, I guess you're going with more than one character, so yeah, yeah. that's why you didn't go to Shameful. Yeah, it looks like a double honor here, I think. Yeah. yeah. And we have to... So, steal two. Yeah. Now, uh, I think... I think uh, Anish forgot to lose the honor for undefended there. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. But I mean, he's got a lot of honor. Like, we don't have to... I mean, you never know, right? It, it, it definitely looks like uh, it definitely looks like Ronnie's probably going to win this next turn, but. Oh wait, he just uh, Ronnie just reminded him. <laughs> See, R Ronnie's keeping it, keeping the correct game state for us. Victor just wants me to keep getting up and down. Now you know how I feel, Travis, when I to an event that I also have to commentate on. So, some of the Armada players today tried to rope me into playing, but well, I got too much love for the L five R people. Like Starting the event and organizing yeah, for them. Yeah, I know. I mean, they, they're not even grateful for the fact that you set up all their play mats and. I know. I, ma I made it very clear to them I was I was going to be streaming L5R today. <laughs> yeah, it has not you, you, so characters. Now, now in uh, Anisha's defense, a little bit like he's actually been pretty unlucky with. Uh, he hasn't seen any of his big guys. Like he hasn't seen, aside from the one prodigy, he hasn't seen Asawa Kaede. Yeah. Uh, hasn't seen. Um, is she? Is he running Shiba Sakune? No. Or Tadaka. Actually, Tadaka would have been huge against Crane. Yeah. He, uh, but he he also hasn't given himself opportunities to draw those cards. So. For sure.
Like, I don't, I, how many uh, conflict cards has he gone through? I mean, uh, just dynasty cards. He's probably only gone th gone through about maybe twelve of them, if that. If that. Yeah. I mean, that's almost one third of his deck, maybe right? Maybe twelve. Yeah. Well, at the very least, I'm pretty sure he's not drawing any more holdings after this turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got one more? No, he's got three more. Oh, he has all those uh, secluded shrines, right? He's got one more lighthouse, one more, sh uh, two more secluded shrines. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I don't. I think he may have. Uh, his list is not the same as the one he submitted. Okay, so that bid I think was four for Ronnie and three for uh, Anish. Oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry, six honor on Ronnie's side. Not sure how I missed that. I don't, I don't even know if you can attack here. You mean on Anisha's side? Yeah. I mean, so I think you maybe... Uh, Solemn Scholar, Scholar Earth, because he's going to have to defend with something bigger than a Solemn Scholar. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he'll get the bow. So I think that's a reasonable trade. It looks instead he's going for water this time. Now, <clears throat> Anish does have uh, one keeper of uh, or keeper initiate in his discard pile. So it's a water military. Uh, two on Ronnie's side yeah. and okay, brace yep. avoid and the challenger, sure. What's, what's the province he's on? Meditations. Yeah. Embrace the void and everything. Okay. I mean, whatever. Right? <laughs> Might as well play it right. Bonsai? Yep. It went. Sends him home. Oh, outwit. Okay. So Doji, the Doji rep is probably going home now, right? That's what, probably what I would do. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I don't know that I would. Just in the off chance, like there's a Shrine Maiden that comes in and bows your uh, Doji Ataru. I guess so. You're right. I'm sure I'm sure um, Ronnie probably has some oh, something, something for that I'm contingency. Sure, yeah. Oh, that, that's, that's the other thing. Ronnie just said on the table audio, he doesn't get to honor a Sakosuke, yeah. which is probably why he didn't want... That's the probably true. Ring to be claimed either way. <laughs> so uh, he's going into the stronghold now, right? So military earth. Yeah. With the Dolce Challenger, which is great actually, because he she's a balanced character. So it doesn't matter if Rally switches it to uh, to political. Well, yeah, I don't think it was this was so much uh, try to win here, just to pull in the mediator yep. away from the the true attack next round. So Anish does flip it to political. The thing's not coming up. He's defending with all those guys? Well, maybe he's thinking that he gets the bow for out of the scholar. Oh, you're right, yeah. Bow to the scholar and gets to dishonor something with a diplomat, so. Again, I don't think Ronnie's going to let that happen. <clears throat> Of 
Court Games to Honor. Yep. So there's clarity on the mediator? Mm hmm. For two. For two, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Ronnie's been saving all these cards for this moment. Ronnie can just keep going indefinitely. Psh, another supernatural storm. Another ornate fan. <laughs> like I get it. I get why Ronnie's doing this. Uh, yeah, well, it's, it's pretty pretty annoying if he if he doesn't win this one. I see a Benton's touch in uh, in Anisha's hand. I mean, it, it, there's still there's still a whole other conflict that's gonna. Yeah, but <clears throat> but see, Benton touch is not actually going to. Yeah, he's not gonna he's not going to be winning the conflict after this Benton's touch. Because I think. Ooh. He cancels it anyways. Brutal. Supernatural Storm? Yep. Canceled. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I mean, he, he drew a lot of cards. He's been saving these all for the entire game, right? Four-minute warning. It was... Uh, So Anish is thinking out loud about playing the uh, Talisman of the Sun and probably assuming that Ronnie has the calling in favors for that. So the problem is Anish has a Gaijin Customs in his hand. He can't play it unless he plays the Talisman first, but he suspects that Ronnie has the calling in favors, which he most definitely does. Yep. And there it is. <laughs> Sonner. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So at the, with that win, he triggers the Earth Ring. Niche is going to go down to Q cards here. It's fine. It'll be a Gaiden, Gaiden Customs. That doesn't matter anymore anyways. Did, did Anish play Clarity of Purpose on that uh, yes. meddling media? Okay. <laughs> no surprise. Yeah. 